sign up to compete. You need like 15 to 20 haiku to compete in the main slam, 3 to 6 to compete in the battle royal. You ain't got to sign up for the battle royal right now. I'll call everybody up for that in a little bit. I don't have 15 or 20. All right. Well, I'm going to say a little prayer to lead us off. My, my person, Alan, is going to say a little prayer here. Um, it's nothing religious or anything. It's um, it's a prayer. It's also a song. It's also a sandwich. So it's a lot of things. <laughs> so you can take what you want and put it into the prayer, just like a sandwich. And uh, I kind of like to start my day with my day. Again. So I appreciate the chance to share with you. Um, thank you for this day. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, thank you for this day, this healing, this healing, this healing day, this healing, this healing, this healing day. Now you can take anything that you're grateful for and put it in the middle of the sandwich. You know, for example, <coughs> thank you for this love, thank you for this love. Thank you for this love, thank you for this love, this healing, this healing, this healing love, this healing, this healing, this healing love. Anything you want to say in the sandwich? Any, anything you're grateful for? Being here or not. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Everybody, thank, thank you, you for being here. Thank you for being here. This healing, this healing, this healing, being here. This healing, this healing, this healing, being here. Thank you, Adam. Oh, thank you all. I like that. And that actually leads me. in the building. If you're up here performing, you pull your mask off while you're performing. And that actually leads into what I talk about in the beginning tonight. Y'all ain't been to one of these. I ramble at you for a minute and I explain how this shit works and then we go ahead and do it. So I'm going to ramble at y'all for a minute because I have been feeling like shit all week long. Like absolute shit. I actually thought about canceling this damn thing because I ain't even feel like leaving the house. <laughs> the reason I felt bad and felt like shit was because I had shrunk. And I don't mean like physically. Although you can take the physical, biological feeling when you start to shrink too much and start to display that outwardly as well. I was in a situation where someone asked of me without verbally and specifically asking of me to shrink myself because they didn't want, appreciate, or have room in their life for my full self. So I had to shrink myself in that moment to fit in the same space as them, tuck myself in around them, and not allow myself to be my full self, my F-U-L-L self and my F-double-O-L self. <laughs> full self. Now, most of my life, I ain't been my full self. I've had to shrink myself. I've had to tuck myself in around other people. So you learn some behaviors. You learn to be quiet. You learn not to express yourself. You learn to accept what's asked of you, even if you don't like what's being fucking asked, even in the slightest little damn bit. And you start to build these habits. And you start to develop you start to develop that over and over. You somehow even start finding people who replicate those patterns and actually find people that ask you to shrink yourself. And you feel like you're happy because it's exactly what you're looking for. But that ain't what you want. Now look, I ain't no idealist. We live in a fucked up system. We all have to survive capitalism. So we have to shrink ourselves sometimes when you're at work, when you're dealing in certain situations, you got to shrink yourself and tuck yourself in 
just for survival. But when you're in a space that is your home or is a term that's loose, used way too loosely, safe space, people say that all the time, but they don't make it safe where everybody can be their full self. And I don't mean obnoxious self. I don't mean bumping up on other people and stifling them so that you can be who you are. I mean being able, like when you got a garden with a whole bunch of sunflowers and they all start growing as big as they want to grow, they not like knocking the shit out of each other and not letting each other grow. They all just kind of twist the way they need to twist so they can all be as big as they need to be and get what they need out this world. That's what I'm talking about. When you at your home or with friends or in places that you call your community, you should be allowed to be your full damn self without shrinking yourself. So that's what I was dealing with this week. I felt shrunk. And then two days ago, I was thinking, man, I should just cancel it. Harley, who was our purple bottle champion, was COVID positive, couldn't be here tonight. I was like, you know what, if Harley can't be here, fuck it, let's just cancel it. I don't feel like driving to Richmond. I'm shrunk up right now, hate every damn thing, don't like my job, feeling frustrated. Ain't nobody got no damn money around the holidays, and everybody's telling you get 3,000 emails about shit you're supposed to buy, and everybody's flashing things you're supposed to do, and you can't do none of it. I was shrunk, and I said, fuck it, man. I'm going to go on and expand. I recognized that someone was asking me to shrink myself. And luckily, that little motherfucking raven inside of me somewhere who had learned how to shrink himself, I've been telling that little bastard. I've been saying, little raven, fuck it. You ain't got to shrink yourself. It's going to be okay. Spread yourself out. You want to wear some fucked up overalls with a bunch of patches and motherfuckers think look stupid? Do it, because it ain't stupid. That's how you feel. You want to get some goddamn polo shirt with some damn raggedy-ass crazy colors that don't make no sense, that don't know dude that look like you need to be wearing, but you love it anyways? Put it on with them damn overalls. Do it. So that's what I decided to do, y'all. That's what Southern Gothic Futurism is about, being your full self, using the power of expression to unleash all them things that make you shrink so you can let them go. You can spread out, be your full self on the psychic level, not on the real physical level. I don't want y'all to walk out of here and be like wiping your arms around, knocking people over and say, Raven told me just be my damn full self. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. So that's what this is about. And I am thankful that we are here tonight. I am thankful for all of y'all coming out tonight. And I am thankful that there is a place that I could be my full self. Now, we've been doing this for 10 years come February. 10 motherfucking years I've been doing these haiku slams. So I'm real full of myself by this point because I've been expressing this for a while. Some of y'all here for the first time, second time, third time, fifth time, y'all are Southern Gothic Futurist cousins now. Every time you come, you're a cousin. The first time, you're a first cousin. Second time, you second. By the time you've been to like seven of these, you just full-on cousin. And the reason we say cousin Ain't no gender to that. That's gender neutral. We all cousins. We family. So that's what Southern Gothic Futurism is about. All right, Raven, well, that's nice, but how the hell does this damn haiku slam work? I'm going to tell you. Anybody who got here late want to sign up for the haiku slam? I got a sign-up sheet here if anybody's interested. Just speak up. Are you speaking up or are you just trying to see me? No. Okay. All right. I ain't trying to push nobody. So the way the haiku slam works is I got two sides of the stage. I got three judges that have two flags. I lost one of my flags, my extra flag. So there's a pirate flag down here. We got rainbow side and pirate side. Everybody who signed up, they come up. I call them up one by one. The first round's going to be best of, well, how many we got here? We'll do best of three to start it off. Best of three. Rainbow goes first. Rainbow side reads a haiku. Pirate side reads a haiku. And my three judges throw a flag up for whichever one they choose to win that round. Judges, you're, what do I call that? Telling you what to do. I can't even remember what the word is. All you got to decide on is which one feels better, whether you're judging it on poetry, how it feels, the rhythm of it, whatever feels right to you. There ain't no wrong way to judge it. There's three of you, too. So it's two out of three flags the size of the round. So if something goes the wrong way, it ain't no individual person's fault. 
Y'all get it? The biggest mistake you can make, though, is if two people throw a different color flag up, and the whole room looks at you to see what you will put up for that tie-breaking flag. So go with what you feel right away instead of thinking about it too hard. In fact, don't think about nothing too hard tonight. Whoever loses the first round goes first the next round. We do that until the predetermined amount of rounds is won for them to advance. Tonight I got 10 people signed up, so we're going to go through like three or four rounds to crown a champion. Before we do the champion round, we will have a battle roll. Normally, we have some sort of championship match. I have a purple bottle champion that Harley Saxon won over the summer, and she defends like a wrestling title belt. She defended it here last month and won 10 to 9. Haiku Deathmatch is best of 19. You've got to win 10 rounds, so you got to go deep into the stack. Since Harley couldn't be here, I had to scramble and figure out a replacement Haiku Deathmatch. Now, I used to always do the Haiku Deathmatch. I did about I think it was about 3,792 haiku mm -hmm. death matches, and nobody beat me. Nobody. Across the whole nation. I did it in behind greyhounds all across the nation. Until my eldest child beat me down. <laughs> eldest child beat me in a death match. But then nobody else beat me. And I was like, well, that's all right. That's my own blood. So that's like, that's like the hair parent to the haiku death match crown of eternity. But then, and this was like eight years ago, seven or eight years ago, a long, long time ago, I was beaten by a young, tongue-sharp, wordsmith, budding poet, teenager, who has come back tonight. They were the first person to beat me outside of my own flesh and blood in a haiku death match. Fran has come back from North Carolina is going to take me in the best of 19. All I'm trying to do is gain a little bit of, redeem myself just a tiny amount. Now since Fran beat me, and as we did this further and more and did these in more places, I'll be honest, I lost like 38 death matches in a row. It got to be where I hadn't beat nobody in a death match, and that's why we created the title bottles, because I don't have to be up here no more. But tonight, I'm taking on Fran in our haiku death match. Y'all give it up for Fran. <laughs> Ten people on this board, and I don't call them in order. Taj, Daniel Tom, mm -hmm. Tomlinson, Alan, Dolly, Melina. That's how you say it? Okay, I want to make sure I say it right. I got multiple. I got three McDaniels up in here tonight. <laughs> three McDaniels. And four count my friend. So we got three McDaniels. And I signed up because you know what? Dan, a.k.a. Hawk Talon J. Crow Fighter, who came and lost the death match last month in a close fight. One time Dan did it, he said, man, I'm doing all three events. I don't care. I said, really? He said, yep, I'm doing the regular tournament, the battle roll, and I'm going to do the death match. So I'm replicating that feat tonight. I'm entering every competition. Y'all look at this shirt. <laughs> Zorch Pizza. They right next door. Zorch Pizza sponsoring us tonight. Y'all know what that means? That means they are supporting people being their full ass self and expressing themselves. Also means I got $100 in cash prizes tonight. So if you win or finish in second in the main slam or you win the battle roll, you gonna walk out of this place with cash money. And as somebody that has been a poet for my entire life, I'm gonna tell you, ain't many damn places you will get paid for poetry. <laughs> All right, so since everybody's feeling a little quiet, I guess it's time for a nature boy check. <laughs> <laughs> How the nature boy check works? Nature boy Ric Flair used to go woo. Big old woo. Man went woo. I can't do woo. I got COVID in August. I still ain't got my woo voice back. It's fucked up. Goes woo. So we do a nature boy check. I'm going to count one, two, three. And while I'm going through that one, two, three, you're going to suck your air in. You're going to swirl it down in your gut where all your stress, anxiety, and tension is. All them things that be pissing you off all week long. All the things you don't want to feel. The things that make your intestines twist up. All them things that make you shrink. And when I get to three, you're going to say, woo, we're going to release all that. we just going to let it out. It's going to float up. Y'all got good filtration. It's just going to go on outside. <laughs> Nature boy check. 
One, two, three. Woo! All right, okay. So if it gets quiet, I may ask y'all to do that again. And I guess that's the other point of things. I don't know how many of y'all been to one of these, but poetry reading sometimes can be kind of quiet. Y'all ain't got to be quiet in here. If you feel something, let us know. If you want to say something, say it. We got a couple chairs up here. If anybody who's standing wants to come sit, y'all more than welcome. Also, if you ain't trying to sit up front, you don't have to. You do what you feel. Coming up first on the rainbow side. On the rainbow side, rode in the car with me all the way here. Y'all give it up for Dolly. Best of three. We're coming up on the pirate side, one of my dearest friends, me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Whiskey Rat, I'm going to slide you back so I can work the scoreboard. Whiskey Rat showed up last month and walked. Whiskey Rat walked off with a, with a um, gift card. Last, last month, yeah. <laughs> Dolly, you get to go first. You on the rainbow side. I got a scoreboard. First one of us to get to, what are we doing, best of three? Best of five. First one to get to three. My elder dog farts remind us he's still living with rank death smell. <laughs> Instagram self-help is deep for superficial personalities. <laughs> Judges. All right, I took the first one. Dolly, you get to go first. Creating artistic guardrails, rules no one else knows or cares about. Elon Musk billions barely a speck on full space-time continuum. Judges said pirate. All right, so it, I'm up two to nothing. Judges, I'm going to be straight with y'all. I got a death match later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> if something feels close, don't lean to me. Y'all need to be hearing me up here. I don't need any petty votes out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you don't. Trust me. Working to love me now, not regretting past or fearing future. If Kurosawa's Akiru is on again, I'm hating my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dolly took that one. I'm up two to one, but I get to go first, having lost a round rarely. Let me find one here. Alleged alpha males easily confused by infinity thems. <laughs> Johnson for my MacArthur Award, elusive genius recognition. <laughs> Judges. Ah, oh, I took it, y'all. Three to one. <laughs> if y'all don't know, Dolly is my partner, and obviously she's a very patient woman. <laughs> and I always make her take on me. I mean, that's not like a weird thing. I'm not like <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up on the rainbow side, y'all give it up for Trisha McDaniel.
its mouth holds the power of life and death. We must choose wisely. Judges. Trisha goes up one to nothing. Jason, you get to go first. All right. I apologize in advance. You gotta apologize for nothing. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to make you shrink up in here. Jordan Peterson is what you get when you knocked up from anal from having anal. <laughs> what you get when knocked up from having anal. <laughs> it's clunky, but it works. <laughs> like, for real, listen, to them, I'm lazy, selfish, and basically 12. <laughs> Judges. All right, Jason took that one, one to one. Trisha, you get to go first. What I've come to know is they've never understood what it's like for me. Making you shrink. Mm -hmm. Jason. Peace out, A.P. Hill. You ain't got to go home, sir, but you can't stay here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trisha took that one. Up two to one. Jason, you get to go. Down two to one. One to three. This could be it. Sanity today requires some detachment. You can't fight them all. Oh, shit. Trisha? And even at 12, <laughs> my shit was more together than their foolishness. <laughs> Jason took that one, so we're going to the knockout round. Two to two. Whoever wins this one moves on deeper into our Haiku Slam tournament. Trisha? This shit's depressing. Where did funny Trisha go? Oh, mom squelched her. <laughs> <laughs> Worn out, run ragged, my candle burnt at both ends, still coming up short. Judges. Trisha took it, so she moves on. <laughs> Stranger danger blossom into a flower of stranger friendship. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, Daniel's up one to nothing. Chris, you get to go first. Death match of haiku, poetic hyperbole, brightens nasty night. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Daniel. Dearest Alex Jones. I did not get you a gift. Naughty, naughty boy. Daniel <laughs> <laughs> took that one. Two to nothing. Two to nothing, Chris. Avoiding the news like kids hide their report cards. Want it different. Yeah. Daniel? Clear your history. Call me on your porn device. I really miss you. <laughs> then you took it, y'all. Y'all give it up for Chris. I got four more names. 
scenes for I'll make sure there's any late arrivers trying to sign up on this bad boy. Alright. Rainbow side. Let's see. Taj. Taj, I'm very sorry, but I always like to put people up in awkward matchups to start things off. Oh, On the pirate side, y'all give it up a dollar. <laughs> Partially it's because I know you're up here with somebody you know, so you're going to feel more comfortable and you're not going to feel shrunk at all. You get to set it off though, Taj. Art. Why is it always misinterpreted? There is no bad, just art. Word. We rolled in here deep like sharks on a crimson tide. My seeds. Legacy. <laughs> Judges. Doc took that one, up one to nothing. Taj? Pottery. With my lump of clay and just a little water, I mold and I shape, bringing out the beauty that made inside. Yeah. Doc? As the evening wanes, you are on my mind. My heart ponders by night time. <laughs> Judges? Damn, y'all are a good pair. So I like matchups too when we do these, because sometimes when you have certain people, there's a flow between the poems too. So I enjoy that. I'm like a mad scientist up here. Taj, <laughs> down two to nothing, y'all going to three. To suffer is to transform. To mistake is to learn. Yes, Doc. Oh, man. That's sharp. Damn, yeah, it is. <laughs> Haku lines composed. My love is mycelium, everlasting growth. Damn. Judges, all right. Taj, you took that one. That was a good pair there, though. Damn! <laughs> Doc, you up two to one. You get to go first. All right. Oh, these holidays. Gobble, gobble. Deck the halls. Fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> Taj. Plants can't breathe when our human minds grow unconscious. Damn. <laughs> and Doc took it. Doc took it, y'all. Three to one. Hold on. Josh, will you read that last one? Yeah, that about? was that got me like in my face. Yeah. Man. The plants can't breathe when our human minds grow unconscious. Damn. <laughs> Two more. Rainbow side, y'all give it up. As far as I know, making their Southern Gothic Futures Haiku Slam debut, Melina. On the other side, the pirate side, absolute pirate. Total pirate. 100% pirate. Y'all give it up for Alan. Pirates ain't always bad, y'all. Go first, Melina. Mine's a lot of scrunchy. Um, do I need one more? The scrunchy costs 40 bucks. Small price for pure joy. Alan? I have no new songs to sing for you. Would you enjoy some fresh haiku? Oh. <laughs> yeah, just... All right, Alan up one. Look, I mean, you set the scoreboard. Alan is up one to nothing. Scoreboard operator is delinquent. <laughs> Melina, you get to go first. Down one to nothing. Cherry tomatoes strung on vines like Christmas lights, glowing with flavor. Damn. Mm -hmm. Alan. Your ear listened this haiku to my hand, waving at this empty page. Judges. Mm -hmm. Melina took that one, one to one. And as a big fan of cherry tomatoes, I am glad. Alan, <laughs> one to one, you get to go first. I have given up all hope of finding out what planet I'm from. <laughs> Melina. 
cheerful blue creatures wish us all a happy day, but I don't like smurfs. Now <laughs> <laughs> we took that one up to the one. So y'all know, funny thing is I got a couple friends of mine that is graffiti artists out west where I live. And um, when I pulled up here last month, there's one of them's tag right on the wall outside the door here. And I was like, damn, my boys are here already, like everywhere I go. But when I bought this house that I live at in Schuyler because I couldn't afford to rent in Charlottesville anymore because it had been too gentrified and even with a full-time job, I could no longer afford to actually live in a house there. I found a cheap house to buy in Schuyler, Virginia. And when I had some money from, it might even been from one of them stimulus checks, I paid for my boys to come do a mural on the metal shed outside my house. So I got a big old giant Smurf, which is what made me think of it. I got a Papa Smurf, but I told them to make them purple. So I got a purple Papa Smurf on a metal shed outside my house that says the power of lounge. So, <laughs> two to one, you are down, Melina. You get to go first. Okay. Mystic Black Blind Cat, a familiar in the wild, noble, strange. A white man's greatest privilege is lack of accountability. Ooh. Damn, Alan took that one and wins three to one. Y'all give it up for Melina. I got a magic black cat at that house too, Melina. I feel like she's already been to my house. <laughs> Rainbow side coming back up. Gonna be raving. Because we all got through. There's nobody else signing up, right? Rainbow side raving. Pirate side Trisha. Damn, man. I know it's been cold rain all day, but what the hell, y'all? Nature boy check. One, two, three. Woo! All right, we ready to do this, Trisha? <laughs> Old school punks, first wave gentrifiers, reselling homes to go country. <laughs> Health insurance time. Let's check what's growing inside. <laughs> Could it be pure rage? <laughs> Judges. Trisha, you're down one to nothing. You get to go first. We're still going to five. First one to win three. I renamed the dog. Is this a trauma response? Her name's Biscuit now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around, find out. Ugly sweater your grandma bought you for Christmas. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going best of five again. We got four people left. Oh, man, that's the wrong way, Raven. What are you doing? <laughs> Coming back up on the rainbow side, y'all give it up for Daniel. <laughs> Divorcees jacking each other off at Interstate Rest Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Alan took that one. We have one to one. You got the other side. So I get to go first. Tied up, one to one. Sleep pelting against metal shed outside bedroom window. Ten, tap, tap.
Blessed rain begins with a tease. Her mood changes. We run for cover. Judges. Alan took that one up two to one. I get to go first down two to one. Earth mathematics can't calculate space travel. Base 10 ain't infinite. <laughs> Empty nest. The kids' favorite games on the shelf. Gathering dust. All right, Alan took that one. Y'all give it up for Alan. So can I have y'all do a best of nine in a little while? Y'all got nine to go for that? Okay. All right. So it's going to be Alan and Doc in our final in a little bit. I could do the battle royal next, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do this death match. I don't have a bio written for this person because I don't never write bios for nobody. But Fran used to come to these. In fact, Harley used to come to these. My oldest child, Rowan, used to come to these. There's a kid named Asher who now is a crazy-ass drag queen down in South Carolina who used to come to these. There are all these beautiful people who were like 12, 13, 14 when they first started coming to these and grew up in these haiku slams. And I, I'm going to say clarify right up front. I take zero credit in all that growing up. I ain't do nothing except for babble at them like a couple times a year. So they probably had to work out like what the hell I was talking about. Sometimes you be like, I don't know what the hell that man talking about, but I like to read what I write. Fran is one of the people who has grown up from those things, and now Fran is an amazing adult doing their own thing in this world in big ways. And I love them very much, and I was so excited that we could have a haiku slam with them here. And I thought that we were going to be in the regular tournament, but we're going to have a death match. So y'all give it up for Fran. <laughs> and that means I'm taking them on. But wait a second. Because we got sponsorship from that, usually whoever takes part in the death match gets $30. I ain't taking no money. In fact, I took my 30 to pay Harley since she was sick. But Fran, you already getting paid for this. Thank you for coming back. I am so glad to see you up here on stage again because Fran used to tear these things up. <laughs> All right, Fran, you get to start it now. We're going to 10, so let me reset the scoreboard. We can get rid of that because we got to fill two columns with this bad boy. <laughs> We're going 10, best of 19. Y'all get ready. We're going to bob and weave, ebb and flow. Ready? Yeah. Get to start it. All right. <clears throat> I haven't written one of these in a long while. Hope I still got it. <laughs> Simple country boy from Mahare, Virginia. Dirt God, Raven Mac. All right, I'm up one to nothing. And judges, I don't have my flags waving around. Rainbow Pirate, y'all remember that. Get to go first. Pizza pregame sounds great until you're inhaling your own garlic breath. <laughs> As I get older, brain fog grows thicker, but I know my path better. I'm up to nothing, man. Get to go first. Mm -hmm. I deleted my Twitter before it was cool. Call me old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> After 50 years, beginning to realize my foolish potential. <laughs> Judges, Fran took that one. I'm up two to one, but I lost the round. I get to go first. Confined by earthly existence in this body, bedazzle thyself. <laughs> I'm Gen Z. I'm an art student working in the gig economy. Judges. <laughs> That's tough. All right, I went up three to one. Three to one. We're going to ten, Fran. You get to go first. My art 
artist's statement. My work comes from a place of being bad at art. <laughs> I know that. Right. Fuck around, find out. Home decor and TJ Maxx snake like checkout line. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got mad to fuck around, find out, just got played the fuck out, man. So, like, now I'm imagining it being like a TJ Maxx and shit. <laughs> but you will. You wait. You get to go. Down four to one. Long distance sucks ass. If long distance were a human, I would call it mean names. <laughs> <laughs> Good weather tracksuits. Bad weather overalls, no weather nudity. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Fran took that one. I'm up four to two, but lost a round. I get to go first. We're going to ten. Nature Boy check. One, two, three. Woo! Slowly sewing more patches on overalls in front of space heater. <laughs> arugula leaf and poop. Antibiotics. <laughs> <laughs> Brian took that one. Coming back. Four to three. I'm up, but I lost a couple rounds in a row. Let me go first. No economist, but I've been in a long-term depression for years. <laughs> Lines are broken. Lock eyes with strangers during online therapy. <laughs> Judges. Fran took that one. Four to four. We got a battle going on. Going to ten. I get to go first. Diana Ross's I'm coming out. 45. Slow to 33. <laughs> See an enemy at the bar. Do nothing. Their life is their penance. So that's why I like the death match. You get people warmed up and they start firing, you know? Now I gotta tighten up. Let's see. Once too extremely online, Doom Scrolls unfurling within subconscious. Old folks love to talk. Well, shit or get off the pot. <laughs> There's no time to waste. <laughs> Judges? All right, I took that one. Five to five. We halfway to ten, Fran, and it's tied up. You get to go first. Long distance sucks ass. They should build exactly one high-speed rail and then stop. <laughs> Believing in woke mind viruses causes your heart to stop working. All right, I'm up six to five, Fran. You get to go first. I was 22 when I was 16, and now I feel 28. <laughs> <laughs> DMing dead friend almost a year after his COVID overdose. Mm. All right, friend took that one. It's six to six. RIP my boy Neil. I don't think mm. none of y'all knew him. We miss you, you dumb bitch. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he died last February. Yeah, he was a good dude, but he had his problems. Problems we all have. Too many people asked him to shrink, so it exploded. Intellectual property oxymorons claiming dominion. Water moves in ways I can't name, and this language stirs something in me. Judges. Fran took that one up seven to six. I didn't put Gero on my forehead before the battle. That's what's up. Damn. I'm not protected. 
Black cat's left ear with small dangling triangle from feline fisticuffs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sunlight through water glimmers ripple over rocks until clouds steal them. Alright, well I took that one, even though I damned friends. Seven to seven, friend, you get to go first. My parents' <coughs> kitchen. Crusty bread, fancy cheese, fresh local apples, yum. <laughs> Desiring a deep sleep which I can't seem to find on known mattresses. <laughs> Judges. All right, I'm up eight to seven. We're almost there, friend. You're down by one, going to ten. In the forest now, only the beach leaves rustle, quiet songs of sleep. Ooh. Rural cosplayers decked out in rich camouflage, looking like sore thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Up nine to seven, Fran. Let's give Fran a nature boy check. One, two, no, wait, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Deep nature boy check. One, two, three. Woo! All right, friend, you're down nine to seven. You fire first. Little star lady, chickweed grows back early. What is she saying? <laughs> Indoor, outdoor cats nervously stalking kitchen door. Cold downpour outside. I took it, y'all. I want to say, friends, thank you so much. One reason I love these events is because I am a 49, almost 50-year-old dude, and I got a lot of people my age who are now looking back on me. What we did, let's reunite and do what we did 15, 20 years ago. I love these events because of people like you, people like Rowan, new people who show up, who challenge me to not be stuck in my ways. So I'm not looking back 15 years ago and thinking that was the best days of my life. Best days of my life are nights like tonight. Thank you, Fran. Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina, and South Carolina. 
So I saw a shop that I could buy all those state flags and I actually recreated the day of Smoky Mountain thing on there. Because those are the states I go to. And I also keep an um, atlas, road atlas, and I have it for most of those states. I don't for South Carolina because I don't go down there too often, to be honest. We're still stalling, y'all. Y'all give it up for Berkeley and Chris and Chop Suey for hosting this event. So you're not going to be in the battle room. Y'all yeah. give it up for Jason, who's going to leave to pick up their kids. <laughs> Y'all give it up for nothing. Just clap. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do best of nine on the rainbow side. Y'all give it up for Doc. losing tonight. True, true. That's it, baby. <laughs> but uh, this first one um, takes me back to the very first time I came to one of the haiku slams. So this is what I wrote about that particular haiku slam. No parking. Walked three blocks. It's all good, though. Worked my legs and won 20 bucks. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Alan. The world's been waiting the you who could be, we'd all love to see. Judges. Alan took the first round. Mm -hmm. It's up one to nothing. And I will say, I remember that first time Doc <coughs> came in, because not only did they win the tournament, they made a dramatic, a dramatic late entrance as well. Remember, we had already started, and mm -hmm. you showed up and entered halfway. We had started the first round, and Doc entered. And I was like, who the hell is this person? And then they <laughs> won the whole damn thing. <laughs> Doc, you get to go first. <laughs> Locking my skin is not the same as being comfortable in it. Mm. Fear, anger, despair, jealousy, shame. Pop those mind bubbles and move on. Judges. Mm. <laughs> Doc took that one one to one. Alan, you get to go first. <laughs> I really, I never really loved you, she said. It was one long mercy fuck. Oh. <laughs> Doc. In a garden full of poisons and passions, I am a kite without strength. Judges. That was a good pair right there. Mm. Alan took it up two to one. Doc, you get to go first. Tell me, what is love? Love is, and then it isn't. It's all subjective. Mm. Alan? On my way home now, melancholy, imagining you never left. Mm. Mm. Judges. Alan took that one up three to one. One thing I love about these is the variety of styles. Even the variety of styles within each person. Like each person will have two or three styles. Doc, you're down three to one, you get to go first. Ravens fly, crows crow on the rush of wings, ghostly things carrying souls. Mm -hmm. Alan. Dreamt you fell asleep, forest bathing on the porch, lullabied my leaves. Judges? Doc took that one, three to two. I saw you switching on me there. <laughs> Alan, you get to go first. I support my friend's gender-affirming top surgery, but titties. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right though? <laughs> Triple chocolate truffle. Mom made me like her. Tasty, but ice cold. <laughs> Judges. And 
That's going to Doc. So it's three to three. We're going to five. Alan, you get to go first. Lower than lowest. Don't give up, since there's always one more thing to try. Doc? I had it a second ago, they like my finger, just sort of lost my page. Okay. An anxious mind waits not for permission, it acts on its own accord. Judges. And that one's going to Allen. Four to three. We are at the door. Four to three, Doc. We gotta win two in a row here. Pick the sharpest darts you got left. But I mean they ain't got All right, so in reference to that, <laughs> thinking positive, there's no reason I can't make today a good day. Damn. <laughs> Alan. Cold cheeks on stone bench, soon forgotten as my arm warms inside your sweater. Judges. And Alan took it, y'all. Alan took it. $20 for coming in second, Thank you. and $30 for winning, because I don't need no money. We're going to do a battle roll now, but before I call y'all up, I just want to point out, at the back I got a table, and upon that table I got zines and buttons that you can buy. If you perform tonight in the Haiku Slam, you can take a zine or two. Um, but I got zines and buttons. I also brought some haiku spikes I do where I carve them in there. And usually they're $69, but I'm doing them for $50 tonight because my ass is broke. And bottle poems, which I do back there. I don't even know what my girlfriend put on them, but I do bottle poems now too. It's all back there. You ain't got to buy nothing, but you can look at what's there. And again, if you signed up to compete tonight, you are more than welcome to take zines, okay? <coughs> so, how the battle royal works. Everybody who wants to be in it is going to come up. And I'm going to let y'all go, and you're going to take turns, and then as you get eliminated, you're going to sit down. So we're going to have however many people up here, and it's going to gradually get narrowed down until there's only two people, and then only one of them left. So if you competed already, you can compete in this. If you ain't competed yet, and you've got a couple of haiku, you can come up and compete in this. Y'all just come on up if you want to be in the battle roll. <coughs> Make sure y'all come up as quietly as possible. I don't know why everybody being all quiet, but you know. Let's see. Dolly, Doc, Trish, Taj, you up here. Y'all go, go get behind me here, Taj. Go right through that. Alan's back up here. It's good. You might be able to get to the right Abby. I'm going to probably misspell it. Did I get it? Fran's back up here. Chris is coming. Enya's up here. Enya won the battle royal last month, didn't you, Enya? No. <laughs> you did. Don't lie. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, I did. Let's see. Who else we got? Anybody else? What I got? I think I got everybody, but if I go through the whole group of y'all and I forget somebody, then y'all just say, hey, man, you forgot me. I ain't forgetting nobody on purpose. All right, rainbow side. We're going to have Enya, because they won last time. We're going to make them go first. Pirate side, Fran. <laughs> and you get to go first. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Everybody too damn quiet. Nature Boy, check. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> Work on getting my cobra voice back. I ain't got it back. Like I can't do my yell right. And you get to go first. Live like a whirling dervish. Spins free for divine love. Never dizzying. Fran. Mm. Naked branches twist, reaching toward heathen gray, leaves tucked under snow. Judges. And Fran took it. Y'all give it up for Enya, though. <laughs> Rainbow side, Dolly. Pirate side, Dev. And you were in the battle royal last time, too, weren't you? I was. Yeah. That's right. Dolly, you get to go first. Nobody likes these patterns, but they're all mad when you want to change them. 
<laughs> I'm just a cyber cat girl in the techno dystopian hellscape. <laughs> yeah, damn. Yeah, oh, Dolly took it. Dev, thank you. I like that one a lot. Rainbow side Doc, pirate side Alan. Immediate rematch. <laughs> Doc, you get to go first. Oh no, I don't know this is good. I mean, they are, but like, you know. <laughs> I mean. We all win. <laughs> Heavy is the heart which houses memories of my wound mate sibling. Alan? We roam the earth with heavy hearts, born from ancient galaxies long gone. Judges. Damn, Alan took that one. That was an awesome pair right there. That was like a double box. Rainbow side Trisha, pirate side Taj. Trisha, you get to go first. Robotic mornings. Piss, shit, brush, dress, medicines, caffeine-free, dismal. <laughs> Taj. Sounds of silence. The silence and sound. Can you hear it? Are you listening? Judges. Trisha took that one. That was a good pair, too. Y'all give it up for Todd. <laughs> Rainbow side Abby, pirate side Chris. So that's the end of my list. Danny, you ain't got no more? Nah, man. Okay. Thanks, you came hard, though. Thanks, man. Abby, you get to go first. A blanket of stars interrupt darkness. Dirty stained sheet block city's view. Chris? Need a word for the sudden cold feeling when the dog leaves the snuggle. Judges. <laughs> and Chris took that one. Y'all yeah. give it up for Abby. You, that was your baby, right, Abby? Yeah. Thank you, Abby. Rainbow side friend, pirate side dolly. Fran, you get to go first. Right. Breeze blown bamboo shakes. A yawn rattles up my trunk. Our stillness returns. Huh. White yoga ladies tell hyperventilating service workers, breathe. Dolly, y'all give it up for Fran. Rainbow side Alan, pirate side Trisha. Man, this is a pair right here. These two. Uh, uh, uh. We did a tournament of death matches at the end of 2019, and both of these folks were in it. So these are these are haiku slam heavyweights. Alan beat me. Yeah, Alan yeah. made it to the final. You lost the hawk talent in the final. Well, like Doc that. said, it's a pleasure to be beaten. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Alan, you get to go first. Conjure the power to liberate descendants from ancestors' shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trisha. Envy the beatniks. They had Benzedrine to help write scores of poems. <laughs> I just, Alan took it. So Alan moves on. Alan, we got one match and then you're going to play the winner. Chris, you on the rainbow side. Dolly, you on the power side. Down to three. We had 37 people up here. Now we're down to three. That's how the battle royal works. Chris, you get to go first. When the author names the feeling you always had, get out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dolly. Reading years of old despairing haiku, still here, maybe just cheer up. <laughs> <laughs> And Dolly took that one. Y'all give it up for Chris. Rainbow side Dolly, Pirate side Dolly. Last round of haiku for the night, and then we're done. Alan. Silver riverbend, an old moon's soft light. Tears drop the curve of her hip. Sex toys nestled in hibernating stink bugs. Cilantro sexiness. 
<laughs> Dolly took it. So look, I say y'all give it up all the time. You got twenty dollars for winning the Adderall. You didn't beat me up. <laughs> I say let's give it up all the time, but I just want to say we close it down. I so appreciate these events. I appreciate all of y'all that support me. I appreciate this woman who supports me more than most anybody. I support, I mean, I appreciate Berkeley and Chris for having this place, Zorch Pizza for supporting us. I appreciate all of y'all too. There's so many people here that have been here a couple times, been here a first time, been here multiple times in different places. Amanda is somebody who came to them in Charlottesville, now goes to VCU, doing all sorts of nonsense down here. I love to see the community around us, and I appreciate you all. If y'all took any pictures of anything, please feel free to share, share them with me online. I'm on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all can Google Raven Mac. You can go to the railroad tracks and yell, Dirt God. I will show up. <laughs> Check out the zines and buttons. Thank y'all very much. We will probably come back in February. Love y'all. <laughs> <laughs>